and we're back. All right, let's get to it. Today I want to teach you some tips for choosing the correct option in fraction situations. Um, you already know the main tip. We've already learned a good bit about this and talked about them one at a time. We've never just kind of looked at these questions side by side and had to make the choice. Um, you know, right now we're especially focused on division and multiplication. Ultimately, we still need to also be able to separate those from addition and subtraction, which they can be tough to do, admittedly. Um, there's a lot of similarities here and here as well. But focused on multiplication and division as we are now, what you're mostly looking for is, is the question asking me to split something into equal groups. That's sort of our, our um, key idea for division. Remember, it won't say those words. This isn't a magic words like I'm looking for these words. They may not be there, but that's the idea. And the idea is tougher on multiplication. Remember, the big thing there is it's usually going to be worded as something we can summarize as blank of blank. Like I'm eating one half of two thirds of this thing. Something like that. You have to be able to kind of shorten the situation to something like that and have it make sense. So that's the main things we're going to be looking for um, as we look. So here's two examples. Um, let's see what we can figure out. And brownies was left out on the counter, and a fourth of the brownies said all. Then John Long how much the whole So, first of all, this one. When I see like something like how much of the whole pan, or what fraction of the whole, um, I'll come back to that in a minute. That's a big part when we start to look at the whole. Because notice there wasn't a whole pan left. It started out and a fourth had already been eaten. John came and ate two thirds of the bounty. So, what I'm looking for there, first of all, I want to ask my main two questions. Is this asking me to split something into equal groups? Or is this a, can I summarize this as a blank of blank? That will tell me if it's a multiplication or a division question. Could be neither of those. But ultimately, right now, if I can go to one of those, um, it would be that. So, First thing I'll think through is equal groups. We learned that first. That's division. That's also easier to conceptualize a lot of the time. So John came along, ate two-thirds of the brownies that were left. I don't really see him splitting anything into servings or into bags or into groups or into sets or anything like that. I don't see any evidence in there that's an equal group situation. Um, can I reduce this to blank of blank? Could I summarize this as John is eating blank of blank of the brownies. I think that I probably can. When I see this part, he ate two thirds of the brownies that were left. I'd already need to have that one go in there. He ate He ate two thirds of three fourths. That's a blank of blank. Two thirds of three fourths of the brownies. This is a multiplication situation. I can do it quickly. I didn't necessarily ask for it since I'm multiplying. That's my easiest algorithm if I want to just calculate it. I can do it visually, but since I'm calculating, that's my easiest algorithm to do. That's the one where I just multiply numerators, multiply denominators. And he ate six twelfths of the whole pan, and that's what I'm looking for. So that part again, if it's like what fraction of the whole pan, even though he didn't have a whole pan, times is a clue for a multiplication question. Baker is baking a bit of oil for This situation. I did first, and those are often easier to tell. Um, one fourth of a to fifteen cup groups. Fifteen. 
makes into servings of one fourth of a cup to me. This to me sounds like a division situation, and then I would either be able to use my division model and make groups of one fourth, or my algorithm, I can fit 15 divided by one fourth. I don't think I don't think this is Of oil. She's of one fourth out of it. How many groups can she make? It's going to be a lot. Sometimes we'll uh, divide it out that way. Cool. So that's two just quick examples that kind of talk you through how to do it. Um, I do want to point out you know, something I said all the time. This exercising the right operation is really only important if you're calculating. Visual, you just kind of do what it's asking you to do. You know, am I doing We do like you'll find those for me. Looks like this in your pages, dear future for get self. Here's some examples. I'll even do it on your page. So let's make it here. Let's see. Two examples. Choose our correct operation is our goal today. Maureen made four and a half quarts of hot chocolate. Each mug holds half of a quart. How many mugs will Maureen be able to fill? So since it's a nose example, let's be clear. We're probably trying to decide if this is division, which is making equal groups. Would be able to summarize sort of the I just ask myself and try things out. So first question is, am I making what this is asked me to do? Green each mug holds half of a quarter. How many mugs would she be able to fill? Is she dividing that four and a half quarts of hot chocolate into groups of half is that what it's asking sounds to me like it is I think that is indeed the case I think she is being able or asked to divide four and a half into groups of one half that does seem what the problem seems to be from there you could either use a visual to solve it or you could use an algorithm to solve it either one is fine whichever one you're the most comfortable with or whichever one makes sense in this situation real quick let's see is this asking, can we make this a blank of blank? Is this asking her to, is it saying she's drinking or eating or using half of the four and a half? I would say it is not. I don't think I could summarize this one in that way, with that language, to say she wants half of the four and a half. I just don't think so. So I don't think the multiplication, I think, is indeed division. The one below it, Nathan went to the candy store and bought three and three-fourths of a pound of candy. If one-fourth of that candy is chocolate, um, how many pounds did he buy? Is this of 
one fourth. Doesn't like it to me. I don't see anything with groups, tags, groups, servings. You know, I want to give it to how many friends can he give it to? It doesn't really sound. I don't see any language anywhere in that question that leads me to believe that we're making groups. Can we use blank and blank language? Does this seem to reduce itself to one fourth of the three and three fourths? Is chocolate, is that what it's saying? I think it is. One fourth of the candy was chocolate. One fourth of the three and three fourths pounds is chocolate. That to me, does in fact sound like what the question's giving us. That'd be a tough one to do, so I do think we're gonna end up doing one fourth times three and three fourths. Um, not an easy question to solve with a visual model or with the algorithm, so you'd have to make that choice, but either one's an option there. This is again a blank of blank, and that's what we want. So to summarize our ideas here down below, multiplication situations is can I summarize the situation as blank of blank. That one's really tough if you want to put a star by it. I mean, that's a tough one. It doesn't seem like multiplication. The division situations is am I making equal groups? That does seem like division. Um, the work doesn't seem like division, because remember, if you do the division models, you know, you're making those equal groups and you never feel like you're really dividing. And if you're doing the algorithm, you end up flipping one and multiplying. You never divide. So this one is, um, these are weird, I might say, but I don't think they're as tough. Um, whereas the multiplication is like tough to tell that that's the thing. Cool. So that is that, and that is that. Oops, sorry about that bad camera work there. Um, which, as far as I can tell, takes you to your check your understanding questions. So on these questions, there are five. Uh, first one's the one you're going to get signed today. Show that you've done your digital day and you follow our task. There are five questions to do. I'm going to ask you to do the following things. What problem is to be solved? Multiplication or division and in the correct order. So what's the problem then the solution? You're welcome to calculate visually or with calculation or some of both whatever you're the most comfortable with. Don't forget, of course, after you've shown that work, you can check on your answer key on the back. Cool. Once those are done, you are all set for math, and I hope you have a great digital day and a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday.